Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Live. Today I'll be showing you how I created this setup that's basically uh, connecting my iPhone into Blender using a new app called Jockey. So Jockey is like Touch OSC, similar app, but this one has a little bit nicer interface and you can um, kind of connect um, all kind of OSC interface and design, design it inside the app very, very quickly and of course you can connect it into any app in this case i'm using blender so i'm showing you this um so let me explain what's going on so i'm using um, an add-on called add routes so this add routes has been around for years and yeah the developer is really kind and really helpful and keep updating it for every blender version so currently I have this setup that's simply turning on and off um, the glow of Suzanne eyes and I can also control the scale X and scale Y of Suzanne. Nothing much. Um, so the setup is like, okay, this app is talking into Blender basically because I'm setting it up over here with OSC settings. I'm sending it uh, to Suzanne uh, with these configurations. Okay, so this is on my iPhone. It's sending into this address. And so this is something that I set up um, manually. And then after I do that, inside Blender, I turn it off, so turn it on, so Blender listening to this uh, interface in real time. And if you are using uh, Blender uh, terminal, you can see that if I make any changes into this uh, jockey, I can see the value coming in and out. Okay, I have this slider that's horizontal and vertical, and also have this uh, kind of like a toggle, toggle interface, and then also like this thing. So I, I haven't. This is actually uh, something that I just tried earlier today. Um, the nice thing about this app is that you can quickly add a new interface like for example if I want to drag this so I'm adding this interface over there okay something like that I can just quickly go back and now I have a new interface to play with and let's see the terminal if this is actually working so indeed this one is working as well so let me turn all ah, let me show you uh, that I can actually record the performance in real time if I want to um, let me show you how I set, uh, I set this up very quickly so Suzanne in the scene and I have this controller and I have this terminal that's showing what's going on. Okay, so it's still working. So the app is sending data to Suzanne. All right, and this, this, this XY slider that I'm working on has this name. So I'm just gonna right click and then copy the X and the Y. Let me try doing that. Copy the address and back into Blender. So with Suzanne, um, I can control the X and Y using add routes add-on. Simply by right-clicking on the parameter, create a real-time route. By doing that, you actually create another route here and then you can control it using OSC this is what we are using OSC address and just put it there and then turn on receive so now I'm controlling Suzanne using the X of this Z, uh, JXY slider number one let me do that again this time for the Y so this is the Y parameter of Suzanne. Actually, I should have used the Z. Um, that's okay. 
copy paste set this to y replace and receive so i'm now supposedly controlling susan in the y-axis as well doesn't seem to be working maybe i forgot something slider okay, maybe locations index one okay index two okay oh uh, yeah that's a bit weird but anyway it's working now file save so now I can control Suzanne and record all this at the same time with the with the eye glow uh, because it's material I'm also controlling it in real time um, of course this is one example you can see the, the dots here that I can toggle on and off this one is driving and controlling blender value the cool thing about the whole setup is that you can you can actually record record it in real time if you turn on this auto key and then for all this setup we just turn on recording there must be a faster way to do this I'm just gonna do it manually so we have five controller six okay six and I can now play this back and control what's going on and then on and off if I have like music in the background I can kind of sync it you can see the, the animations is recorded now I can stop I can play back so this is the whole performance that I just did in real time so with a with a good computer this should be real time and perfectly sync in sync with the music um, yeah and I don't know how to use it yet maybe um, let me think so I can still control Suzanne even though it's already have keyframes right because uh, this just the way it's uh, it's been set up the the controller in the in the jockey app is overriding whatever animations happening here and normally if you record it again I think it will if it, it will override the previous recording but that's uh, really depends on how you set it up here with the recording you can set it to uh, keyframes replace or as needed or as visually available or etc yeah there's a lot of options there so yeah I think normally I think if you want to sync it to the music um, and you know make the eyes blinking on and off if you have a character animations that you want to do you can do that um, you can perhaps use it together with the face uh, face cap app to have your character heads moving around and controlling the blend shapes but that's gonna be slightly yeah you can actually do that uh, because what's happening here OSC the add routes add-on is listening to this address right you can send as many address of and as many device as you like into your MacBook or your machine and then Blender will handles all all the data so currently these routes we have it's just six different kind and the address you can see this is corresponding to the interface of the Jockey app so now it's yeah I think it's pretty stable occasionally it's a uh, it feels like lagging a little bit but that's depending on your Wi-Fi routers as well but normally in, in this mode if it's not rendering this is actually real time so you can select Susan select all of this 
start again let me record do a little bit of random motions eye blinking this time I'll try like a simple character rig or something okay now it's animating <laughs> it's very fast and I can still do the eye blink okay yeah so that's uh, basically it um, that I want to show you today hopefully this is uh, understandable easy to understand um, I haven't tried I haven't checked all the details of this app what this app can do but it's really cool right you can quickly add interface and connect it into blender or other app like unity or unreal so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye